In this demonstration, we're going to use a multimeter and a schematic, and then we're going to look at what a normal compressor should look like if you're going to ohm out, ohm out the windings because you're suspecting that it's bad. The thing that you need to be aware of, though, is when you are doing resistance measurements on any component, you need to disconnect these wires here or unplug the plugs or disconnect the wires so you isolate the component that you're testing. If you don't, if you don't, then you're going to, uh, it'll back feed through other components within the system. So make sure that you disconnect the, the component that you're checking when you're doing a resistance measurement. So you grab your meter and you're going to switch it to ohms. And we are going to, we're going to measure between the common and the run winding. And that gives us a resistance measurement of 2 ohms. Then you're going to measure between the common and the start winding. That gives you a resistance measurement of 10 ohms. Now you can see here in the schematic diagram that if you measure from start to run it should be the total of the two measurements that you just took which are, were 10 and, and 2 ohms and it, and you see here this is a good compressor we measured 10 ohms across common to start 2 ohms across common to run and then the total of 12 ohms across start to run now the different compressors will have different resistance measurements but the total between common and start and common and run, if you total those up, that's what you should be, me be measuring between start and run windings. And if you're measuring anything over 20 ohms on any leg, you probably have a, a bad compressor, but this, is a, this one happened to check out good. So the next one we'll look at is an open winding in the compressor.